Well, you can't miss it. If you've been to the French Quarter lately, mm -hmm. we work here, of course. Yep. You will see that the tourists are definitely back. They sure are, but with our low vaccination rates, how quickly are things going to get back to normal? Mike McDaniel has that story tonight. Maneuvering here. Let me see what I have available. Reservations fill up fast these days at Flambeau Bicycle Tours in the French Quarter. They're coming out in droves right now. Much different than late last year when owner Eric Gabarel wasn't sure the bike tires would spin again. Last October, we were in panic mode, wondering if we were going to survive. Now he's turning people away. I'm completely booked out on Thursday. I would say the vaccine has played a really big role, man, because it's how people feel comfortable uh, about being around other people. As folks get more comfortable, state and medical leaders aren't so comfortable with the state's overall vaccination rate. According to the state health department, about 30% of the state's population is fully vaccinated. According to the CDC, much of the South falls below 32%. To get back to normal, quote unquote, that's what we really need. Dr. Susan Hassig with Tulane University says low vaccination rates can not only scare off potential visitors, but also create centralized spread of COVID. The reality I think people in Louisiana have to recognize is if the rest of the country gets to 65, 70% vaccinated and this region along the Gulf Coast doesn't, all of the virus experience is gonna be happening here. In New Orleans, where 51% of the eligible population is vaccinated. There's a light at the end of the tunnel now. Kelly Schultz with New Orleans and Company says high vaccination rates, especially among tourism workers, means competitive advantages. That is the thing that is going to make people feel safe getting on airplanes and starting to actually book travel to New Orleans. We do have availability at 1.30. Back on Rampart Street, Gabarel says while not fully back to normal, he's thankful the pedals are finally moving again. I feel like folks have been in their cocoon uh, for, for so long that they've actually grown wings. <laughs> and as soon as they saw some light, man, they busted out. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Let us out. Tourism leaders say certain areas of the industry are still missing, like international travelers, cruise ship passengers, midweek hotel guests, and even conventions.